Link 2012. Oh, wait, I wanted the charms from this chest. That's what I was looking for. Oh, they're not in here. Where did I put them? Where did I put my charms? That's a issue because I need those. So I'm just gonna have to go look through all my chests again. Especially that charisma of levitation. That's a pretty big deal. All the glasses connected. I don't like that. Options. Video settings. <laughs> okay, details. Where's my glass and whatnot? Translucent box, default, fast, fancy. That's not it. Vegeta, fast? What's that mean? I don't know what the, I don't know what half these things mean. <laughs> Stars are on. Animations. Oh, maybe it's under shaders. Nope. Other. No, it doesn't look like there's anything. Smooth lighting. Can't remember what that is. Oh, no, I remember what smooth lighting is. I like smooth lighting. Oh, well, we're just going to have to keep the glass like this. All right, so the only two things we have left to unlock are the basic exchange and keep inv inventory. I do like keep, keep inventory, but I'm going to save that for the final few areas. We're just going to unlock basic exchange. And it does this cool animation. Now, this animation wasn't added in until much, much later in the map. All my beta testers had trouble finding it. It says, Emerald block placed, ability unlock, basic exchange. You find the exchange just left of where you... Near the portal, which is marked. Just left of you near the portal, which is marked. Yeah, okay. I, I, I had a typo there, I guess. Yeah, I have quite a few typos. Surprisingly a lot. Alright, so we have our merchant who gives us golden apples, protection one, water bottles, and some panic potions. I really like the panic potions, so I'm glad about that. The mining specialist, well, he just gives us some mining stuff. Investment deals, yeah, so unbreaking, and fortune, and silk touch. I also debated putting silk touch in here, but I did in the end. Last protection. I had a lot of fun. So if you look at the original compiler, um, I, I, I think, I, I'm not sure if I've ever uploaded it, but I have a folder full of Descent and Developer materials, and in there is some images of a book. Uh, a notebook at that in school. So how how did? Oh, cool. We have so this is the exchange manager. Um, oh yeah, we get the bank slip. So we can get XP bottles from materials, which is nice. First man. Perfect. It was difficult to keep all these guys in order. Blacksmith. I'm actually gonna look through these before doing the story. Feather falling. Monster Hunter. Okay, so you can get Smite 5 here, which is pretty cool. Arachnitologist. Bane of Arthropods 5 is only 20 XP bottles. The Wrath of uh, Tennis uh, for the win. Or Tennis FTW. Um, I remember Tennis FTW. This was... Okay, I can't remember what this was for. Oh my, this was something, this is some reference to something on Hypixel, I can't remember. You see, I'm too old, I don't remember these things. Uh, but I know that Tennis FTW had something to do with spiders, and and that's why I had that in the map, so that way if he ever played, he would be able to have that. But I guess I just took so long releasing Descent that most of the references from this map don't exist. Uh, oh, that's strange. So I believe in the original, when I was testing... Oh great, I can't get up here anymore. I had a thing of bottles stored down there. So it's, Wait, no, I still- no! Ah, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so if you're very observant and you're looking around, you might notice that there's these things. Nothing, nothing. 
Mmm, silverfish. And you get some XP bottles. It's a stack, it's not much, but it's something. Uh, one of the original things I did when making Descent, and this was really how I, 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 I was sitting in school one day, and I was thinking, you know, favorite thing CTMs, no, there's nothing better in Minecraft than the CTMs in Hypixel. Let's combine them, let's make a CTM. Uh, a Hypixel CTM. And that's how Descent was born, more or less. Now... Oh, I did keep the Medallion of Courage on me, that's surprising. As... Oh, we're gonna have to go find that chest where I put the stuff. And so I was sitting in class and I started making ideas for it. I think I did the area layout and the ex basic exchange on the other page. So that was really fun. I remember that a long time ago with some crazy stuff. I didn't... doesn't look like I put it in here. Maybe I did. Okay, so we need the Admin Diamond, the Dark Aura. So here's the Admin Diamond, here's the Charisma of Levitation, that's where I put it, okay. Oh, the, it looks like we lost the Dark Aura. I can't remember what it cost us, so we're just going to take some XP bottles with us and see if we can get it. Looks like this chest plate needs some repairing too. Oh, we could have taken Thorn's boots. That might have been a good idea for the boss. Nah. They don't do a ton of damage compared to our weapons right now. Oh wait, wrong wrong way. It's right over here. Okay, and then we have to hope that our torches don't get destroyed. Alright, perfect. Gotta go pay a visit to the wizard. I want my Dark Aura. Actually, I think we might have some extra that I'm forgetting about, but... I'm just gonna get it. Right. How much is our Aura gonna cost us? 50 XP bottles? No, that's cheap. Perfect. And yeah, your arms are having issues. So this is one of the... I can actually show you guys this now. I had so many issues down here with the clock... doubling up. So for some reason, when the chunks got loaded, sometimes it would send two signals on the clock. And as you can see right now, this clock right here is actually broken. Which is strange. I'm pretty sure that's... No, okay. This is what starts up the clock. Okay. And that way, it won't bug out ever. But as you can see, it has bugged out, which is sad. This does particles... This te test for when we're in the region, um, and then it will activate it. The issue is that this, unfortunately, got permanently switched on. I, I can't remember all the redstone behind this. I could probably look back through it and figure it out. Oh, and that over there is the redstone to the, uh, the witch call it up there. We'll look through this later on, because this is some really fun stuff. Oh, wow, how did I pick that up? It's not mine. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Beautiful. I love that transition. There are so many cool transitions on this map. Nice. When there's lag, this works very easily. <laughs> I doubt this, this, the horse is going to work, so we're going to game mode 3 it. Right side, we got everything now. The downside, we still need a lot more. Uh, we still have two more areas. And these two areas aren't going to be a piece of cake. Let me tell you. The next area we're going to is the main attraction. And that one comes with its own slew of adventures. We'll see it. We'll see it in a bit. First things first, put away anything I don't need and get myself set up for the next area. It is very unfortunate that we don't have permanent torch placement. 
It's okay. We'll manage. Normally, I keep a stack of... Oh, wow. Actually, I'll just almost put that one in the chest. We need to keep a stack of wood on us. That way we can make whatever we need. We really don't need that much food because as we've seen in the past... Got really good stuff. Oh, we, because of the... We, we have the... Um, whatchamacallit. Let's go ahead and put these beastly potions in with this armor too. We need to clean out our ender chest, which is going to be a process. Because I know we have a lot in the ender chest. Alright, what can we throw out here? Sam? You. Enhanced speed potion. We'll keep that for later. Let's look in the backpack first and foremost. Oh, boy. Oh, we got a quantum furnace. Yeah, the missing texture's bugged out. Yeah, it looks like we have some quantum furnaces right here already. I think there's three total in the area. So we've only found two of them. Remember that those are full stacks of uh, lava. They're not 64, they're 127. I, I've, I've watched some videos uh, about 2B2T, and it, interestingly, over there, the maximum value for enchantments is something like 32k. Oh yeah, we want to keep that in there. Which is very strange to me. I'm not sure why that is the case. I just know that isn't really the case for what I'm used to here. Oh, regeneration set? That's almost worth it, us having. Um... Because in the normal game, the maximum is 127 for most things. I suppose I can see it for enchantments, actually. No, wait a minute! What am I saying? What am, what am I telling you guys? If we look in here, our infinite weapons have... Oh, we have it over here. Remember from the infinite area? Yeah, it's unbreaking level 1000, so I guess I didn't quite go all out on it. But it is possible to get much higher. I was wrong. Mm -hmm. I guess you normally don't put much more than that. You can't get it. I don't think you can get it in survival. Is the thing. So you can use commands to get you a certain level. You have to use MC edit to get much more. Frame fragments can go in there. Wow, that's a really nice pickaxe. That's our pickaxe. Wow. Who would have thought? Yeah, I know it's thought, but... <laughs> Purple mist! Uh... I don't know where to keep that. I'm just going to put it in keepsakes for now. I do miss Captain Transcendence. That guy was pretty cool. Oh, wow. Uh, that might be the bow that we were using earlier. All those, is this a harpoon gun? No. I remember using a harpoon gun. Yeah, this is the one we, we had. Oh yeah, and these consume arrows. Anyways, we'll figure all that out in a bit here. We'll figure out what bow we want to use. I'm going to keep that in there for now. We really should have three emeralds, but unfortunately we've lost one for this whole map. Gonna, I'm going to look back through that area one more time once we're done with everything, just to see if there's anything... Okay, so what bow do we want? I'm thinking harpoon guns are cool. Harpoon guns are really cool. We've got some good ones here. If we put unbreaking on this, if we put fire aspect on this, it would be great. Flame. Can we put flame on it is the question. Yes, we can. Now, the goal of the harpoon gun, I guess it is not as much as a bow, as much of a bow, as something that reels things in. Yeah, and we are going to have to have arrows, because these do use up arrows, so we might as well not put infinity on it. 
And we don't want punch, of course, because of what I just mentioned. Uh, yeah, we don't need to. Uh, we don't need to fix the the legendary diamond sword, but I am gonna fix my chest plate here. I'm putting my pick away. Okay. Um. What was I just saying? My bow's good. Oh, I'm breaking. We want to put on breaking on it. Just on breaking. What will that cost us? Four levels, and we need arrows, of course. Let's get a stack of those. I'm pretty sure we're going to get more arrows in this area, so that's why I'm not worrying about... Uh, grabbing more than a stack of arrows. Because we'll get refilled most of the time. Alright, we do need to keep those XP bottles, though, because we want to repair this, and I really don't know how much it's going to be. Okay, we can repair it, though. That's nice. Oh, it's only halfway down, though. I really want it to last longer. I think we unlock a fast teleporter. So let's go ahead and get that before we repair our chest plate. Yeah, you see right here, we unlock a teleporter. So we're going to go unlock that teleporter, then we're going to put on our armor. We're going to replace our armor. Oops. There is not a game mode 4 right now. Alright. Oh, great. Isn't there, wait, isn't there a tele teleporter that goes right over there? Like down here? No. I can't remember where it's at, guys. Oh no. Oh, it's right under here. Oh, and now the automated torch placement is happening. Contested mines. Okay, so this is contested mines. Now, how many of you remember the walls another map? Oh, we didn't bring potions. Whatever. We're gonna get them when we go back. Yeah, there's some nice veins of ores here. Which I'm going to take, because we can, uh, since we unlocked the basic exchange, we can use them to get extra bottles now. What is this? Competitive, uh, competitive miner. I thought I was going to say competitive walls player. I guess not. Now, unfortunately, these guys are a little bit in the walls sometimes, so you really need to look out for where they're spawning. Okay, so I saw one of those spawn above us. Let's... Oh yeah, I have mining fatigue right now. Right, these pickaxes are efficiency 5, which is quite cool. Let's actually use these for now. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. I don't really want to use my bow right now. Really painful right now. Oh boy, we're out here for a moment. Right, I want to get some water down here. We do get regen in this water, if you remember. That's what I keep forgetting on hardcore mode, it's more difficult to regenerate when you get hit, so you want to be a little more cautious about when you get hit. And strength really would be of use here, to be honest with you. Oh, someone just spawned from over there. Okay, we're gonna go back actually. I want haste, I want strength. Um, these pickaxes are going to allow us to drill through things, which is nice. And let's also repair our chest plate while we're over there. But hey, we're on the second to last area, which is great. I keep trying to go game mode zero for some reason. Ah! Made it. <laughs> Uh, thanks to our boots, our angelic feet. Did we put? Did we ever put feather falling on them? We didn't. That wouldn't be a bad thing to put on them sometime. 
And we have gold ore with blast protection. Well, unfortunately, we can't put ores on our head. Let's put the ore right here. Nuggets right there. Iron. Okay, so we need a chest plate. A diamond chest plate. Do we have a normal diamond chest plate here? No, it looks like we have to one. And this is uh, one of the special ones. Yeah, this is a long baby one. We're actually using diamonds. You know, it was funny. Whenever I would do survival Minecraft, I would always, like, hoard diamonds. I would never use them. 33 levels? Gotta be kidding me. Let me get my other diamond chest plate out. Because I know I had another one that did the same thing, except it had thorns. Yeah, look at that. Right there. Look at that. You're going to be that way, chest. Um, oh, that's interesting. That's another set I could use. Um, anyways, we need strength. We need... We don't need strength. We could use strength. So let's grab some strength potions. Some berserking potions. I just want strength. Oh, boy. It looks like we're out of strength. Oh, we could make some three stacks of strength. Uh, you need, what is it, the, the nether wart, right? You make an aqua potion, then you make strength, and then you put, like, redstone in it to extend it. I think. I think. And we had the pig spawner that we never used. Wait, what? what is that spawner, actually? Let me double check. Monster spawner. It's just a normal pig spawner. Which we could totally use. It's much better than the uh, the other thing, the the Kevin Cool pig spawner. All right, this is actually four, so let's go ahead and plop one in here. Oh, these are already awkward potions. That's good. All right, then we need blaze powder, which I'm sure we have some of in here, and some redstone. Okay. Uh, additionally, we could use a Philosopher's Potion because for some reason we just get a lot of mining fatigue in that area. And I want to be able to drill through everything without a problem. Perfect. Strength. Let's go ahead and extend those. Let's go ahead and make some Strength Potions over here. We're not going to need more than a stack of these. No, in other words, a stack of four. Because that'll last... Well, okay, we're going to have to come back but I'm pretty sure that there's going to be some stamina potions in this area, and we'll be able to use those. Okay, let's go. We're good. We're good. We're great. We're doing great. But the mining fatigue there is universal, so I'm pretty sure that uh, this area you get mining fatigue in because... No! Alright, well, it looks like I'm out of memory. You can see here, if you look up in the top right-hand corner, my memory is maxing out. And as a result, the game's lagging like this. So I'm going to go ahead and restart Minecraft here. And we will be back after this short break.